Hi everybody, I'm Michelle and today I'm going to teach you about your eye. So let's get started. Humans have two eyes. They're located on your face, between your nose. You're welcome. But what really goes on in your eye when you look at an object far away or close by? Okay, so I'm going to draw the human eye from a side view. The most important parts on your eye right now are the lens, cornea, ciliary fibers, ciliary muscle, the retina, fovea centralis, and the optic nerves. Seems so simple, right? Wrong, bro. But it's really easy, don't worry. So what you have to know is that light travels through your eye. The process take, that takes place in order for your eye to send the viewed message. Okay, so light travels through the cornea, through the lens, and hits the fovea centralis on the retina, on like the other side of your eye, and this sends the message to the optic nerves. So light goes, to the cornea, to the lens, to the fovea centralis, to the optic nerves. Pretty simple. So what's accommodation? Okay, so let's say you were playing Candy Crush on your iPhone. All of a sudden you look up and you see that hottie you've been crushing on forever, literally across the room. In this scenario, you're using two different types of vision, and that requires your eye to change focus or accommodate. Accommodation, accommodate the new, to the new, sub, the new subject in focus. Specifically, your ciliary fibers, your ciliary muscles, and lens change shape and size to adjust. So when you look at a close object, your ciliary fibers contract, which means like they get smaller, and your lens changes to become shorter and fatter. So everything like bunches up together and becomes short and fat in this big blob. When you look at a faraway object, your ciliary muscles relax, and the fibers and lens become longer and thinner. So when you're looking far away, everything stretches out and becomes thin and long and so skinny. So, how do you remember this? Easy. Okay, imagine when you see that girl, a girl far away, she looks really slim and skinny. She's slim and skinny, like the lens and the ciliary muscles when you look at far away. When the girl comes close to you, you realize that she's actually fat, just like your ciliary, and ciliary muscles and your lens. Not that girls look fat up close, but it helps illustrate the point. But why don't we look fatter when we are closer to you? The answer, depth of vision. So we already know that our eyes accommodate to view an object based on its distance. Depth of vision is the ability to see stuff in three dimensions. Depth of vision plus accommodation helps us judge distance and relative size. For example, Debbie is taller than Patty. George is fatter than Jimmy. Kelly is closer to me than Rachel. That is why we don't look skinny far away and fat up close. We use depth of vision to compare relative sizes and distances in three dimensions. So the next time you're checking out that special someone, Remember that your eye is taking in reflective wavelengths and diffracting it through the eye to send a message to your optic nerves and that you're also using accommodation depth of vision to actually portray the image of the person you're seeing. Or you can just remember that we use um that we use accommodation and depth of vision to check you out. Every day, all day. Thanks for listening.